A mile and a half off the coast of Sarasota in the Gulf, we have the largest eternal reef system in the world. As 10 Tampa Bay anchor Courtney Robinson shows us right now, it is a space where hundreds have found their final resting place and in death are creating life. He was a man with a heart that needed life and adventure. Tom Creel grew up a Gulf Coast boy. The water was his love. Pleasure boating, fishing, kayaking, we both scuba dived. When Tom was diagnosed with melanoma in 2013, he made sure to enjoy the remainder of his life, sharing the water he loved with those he loved most. And, and he did. And during one of those trips, they stumbled upon eternal reefs. And we hear a loudspeaker and we're seeing flowers going in to the Gulf. And so we stop what we're doing and we cruise closer over and we see what's happening. They were watching a burial at sea, but unique, a green burial where someone's final resting place was on the sea floor as part of an artificial reef system reviving marine life in the Gulf. Tom knew at that moment what he wanted in death. It was very simple. He said, when I pass, I want to be a reef bull. In 2016, Tom passed away. He was cremated. And Father's Day weekend, his kids, grandkids, wife, and friends came together to fulfill his wish and create Tom's reef ball. This is where the cremated remains reside. Eternal Reef CEO George Frankel walked us through the process for families, starting with mixing their loved one's ashes with concrete, creating. That's called the pearl the centerpiece, the heart of the reef ball. Once they make the pearl, we put fresh concrete on the top of the reef, and this is where they're personalized. Finally, families are taken by boat for the final placement and dedication on the reef site. He is in the water that he just loved, and part of that living, thriving environment. In the right conditions, we get growth on these reefs in as short a time as six weeks. I don't know a lot about concrete. But, I, you know, we hear now about everything having harmful toxins. Mm -hmm. Are there harmful toxins that are in this material that could pollute our precious gold? Absolutely not. All of the ingredients, including the cremated remains, are non-toxic to the environment. They are all natural materials. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers designates permitted areas for artificial reefs. They don't replace natural coral reefs, but can provide what's missing, shelter, food. Frankel pointed to divots on the reef balls that also support coral conservation efforts. We actually can use these reefs for coral transplants. Right now, this is helping life underwater, and in the future could be a solution to another problem, as usable land for cemeteries will eventually become a premium. Less than 1% of that bottom surface that's been approved for artificial reef has actually been used for an artificial reef. So in terms of just space consideration, we have, I'm not going to tell you it's unlimited, but it's unlimited. A process that conserves resources, creates life, and brings closure. What we were able to see was that reef ball that he wanted to become be placed on the Gulf of Mexico. And the closure that that brings for little people and for spouses is, is truly beautiful. And there's also an economic aspect to this, and it got my attention. You know the saying, in this world, nothing is certain except death and taxes. Well, they have married the two. Eternal Reefs is a nonprofit, so you're actually not purchasing the reef ball, you're making a donation. And because it becomes public property, going into that permanent reef site, you can take a charitable deduction on it as well.